Hello and welcome to Time Series Forecasting. In this chapter, I'm going to talk about uh, one of the most powerful uh, forecasting models called uh, ARIMA models. And uh, these models are based on uh, the autocorrelation in the data. And we are going to take advantage of uh, this autocorrelation to build these uh, ARIMA models and then forecast uh, based on uh, these uh, models. Now the way I'm going to teach uh, you ARIMA models in this class is I'm going to distribute uh, ARIMA models into three components. And first we are going to look at uh, these components individually and at the end I'm going to combine all these three components uh, to build uh, ARIMA models. So ARIMA models are essentially based on uh, three components. An autoregressive component, an integration component and uh, a moving average uh, component. First, I'm going to talk about uh, stationarity and uh, unit root and talk about uh, this middle I part of uh, the ARIMA model. So I'm going to talk about uh, stationarity and the unit root and uh, this is the very first thing that we need to do when we are dealing with ARIMA models. We have to make sure that uh, our series uh, is uh, stationary and a stationary time series is the one whose properties do not depend on uh, the time and we'll talk about uh, the mean in particular and uh, say that uh, the mean of uh, the series does not change with the level of uh, the series so this is the very first thing that i'm gonna talk about i'm gonna talk about uh, integration and how to take a difference of a uh, series to make it uh, stationary if it is not uh, stationary so this will be the first thing that we will discuss in this uh, chapter and then moving to the second part of uh, these ARIMA models, I'll talk about uh, the autoregressive uh, component. And uh, we denote uh, this component by P. So we'll talk about this component and uh, how to choose uh, the order of uh, an autoregressive model denoted by P. And finally, we'll talk about uh, the moving average part. Now this moving average part is different than uh, the moving average uh, that I talked about earlier. In here, the moving average refers to the moving average of uh, the error. So this will be the third uh, component of a RIMA model that we will talk about. And then we'll see the order of uh, an MA will be denoted by Q and we will be choosing uh, an appropriate uh, Q. Then uh, I'll talk about the non-seasonal RIMA models denoted by P, D and Q. And now this D is uh, based on uh, the stationarity of the data that we will talk about and we'll talk about the order of stationarity based on uh, the integration. And uh, these uh, P and Q refer to uh, the order of a regressive part and uh, the order of uh, the moving average part. So we'll choose uh, these uh, three components to build uh, an ARIMA model. And uh, then we are going to learn the technique of uh, selecting the best P and Q using the autocorrelation function that I talked about. And now I'm going to introduce you to a new concept of uh, partial autocorrelation. And based on uh, autocorrelation function and partial autocorrelation function, we will be choosing the order of the autoregressive part and the order of the moving average part of uh, these ARIMA models. And at the end of the chapter, I'll talk about uh, the seasonal ARIMA models. and uh, these models will contain uh, two parts, a non-seasonal part which will contain the non-seasonal uh, order of uh, the AR and MA process and uh, also contain uh, the seasonal part of uh, the ARIMA model where the order of uh, AR and MA will be denoted by P and uh, Q in uh, the uppercase letters and M is the frequency of the data. We are going to look at uh, these ARIMA models based on three of its components and we are going to take care of stationarity first and this is uh, the integration part of uh, the ARIMA models. And then we're going to look at uh, the autoregressive part and the moving average part and then we're going to combine all these three parts to build uh, a seasonal ARIMA model and uh, a non-seasonal ARIMA model. So in the next video I'm going to start talking about uh, stationarity of uh, time series by talking about uh, the integration and differencing. Alright, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.